So today I'm going to tell you why I'm quitting my candy machine business. But before I tell you why I'm quitting, I want to show you how much I made collecting from 20 candy machines. So you could decide if you would like to start a gumball machine home business of your own or not. I'm going to show you how much I made profit from my vending machine business, how I changed my quarters into dollar bills, and what are my future steps to growing my business. Hope you enjoy the video. Step into my circle with the opposite of Urkel. When I pull up flying purple, people eaters couldn't buy to me. I feel the fate of her soul. And I just leave them on the limb and hand them up in this. His weapons are walking that I This is going to be my last candy machine video. So let's go. So we just went to our first spot. Weak sauce. Ten dollars in here. One month, ten dollars. Let's hope the next 19 machines have way more than this. First time this has ever happened to me. Came to check up on the machine. It wasn't where it used to be. I asked them, hey, I had a candy machine here. Do you know where it's at? They took me all the way to the back and it was buried behind boxes. I'm like, all right, cool. I, I didn't say anything. I didn't give them a me look. I just told them, oh, all right then. Well, I'm just gonna be taking it then. Cause if that's how they're gonna be treating my machines, I don't want my machines here. That's all right. Let's keep going, let's keep going. As you guys could tell, the Vestar 3000, it stopped. Look, he doesn't turn. It's not good for gumballs. So, I switched it out real quick because we're gonna switch the gumballs to Mike and Ike's. Let's test it. There you go. Test it one more time. All right, it's working. Now, let's see how much money. This is a great location. Mexican restaurant. Let's see, I'm thinking I'm gonna make about, hopefully $50. We're about to find out. Six, $64.75. $64 Imagine if the gumballs was working. Dang, man. This is a good spot. But we got a few more locations to go. I'm going to go take this back. And after this, I'm going to tell you how much I made all together. Then I'm going to subtract my cost and the gas. And I'm going to tell you how much I made net profit. So for my last machine, I actually had to bring it home because the gumba slot isn't working. I'ma fix it, but first, let's see how much money we made. Oh my God, this is heavy. Look at that, it's almost full. Let's see how much money we made. So I made $46.25 of that one location. Dang, imagine if the gumballs was working. So, you know what we gotta do next? We gotta go change all these quarters into real money. I mean, it's still real money, but dollar bills. And this is how I'm gonna do it.
So I made a total of $322.75. I went to go change the quarters in the bank. The toys cost me 21 cents each, so that's $31.08. Candy cost me about seven cents per van, so that's $81.65 in cost. I only paid five spots commission, which came out to $17.50. And of course, you can't forget about the gas, $20. And it took me about five hours to collect for my candy and gumball machines, which leaves me a total net profit of $172.47. And now, the main reason why you watched this video, why I'm quitting and selling all my machines, is because I'm upgrading. I already bought them, and now I just wanna focus on the big vending machines, the snack and sodas, to see if these are gonna make me way more money than my candy machine business. Only one way to find out, subscribe so you don't miss my next entrepreneur video, and I'll see you in my next video.